have this problem where I can never tell if anything I hang up is actually straight or not. But I think that's okay. Hey look, my new studio video. Okay, 210 views, not too bad. 36 thumbs up. Let me just make that 37. Sometimes I feel kind of weird giving a thumbs up to my own video. But it's like, YouTube allows you to do it. If they didn't want you to do it, why would they let you do it? Still feels weird though. Anyway, 37, thumbs up, very good. Oh. One thumbs down. Thanks, Mom. But you know, thumbs down aren't that big of a deal, really. When I was a new creator, I used to think they were. I used to think, oh, if someone gives you a thumbs down, if someone takes time out of their day to show their disapproval, I must just be an awful person. I must, I must have something wrong with me. But in reality, it's probably them who have something wrong with themselves. Uh, and not like on a deep level. I don't mean, oh, they need to change who they are. I just mean, chances are they're having a bad day or chances are, you know, Something, something is going on in that moment with them. You know? And you can control the energy that you're putting out and the content that you're putting out and the message you want people, the way you want people want. Why did my camera stop? You can control, what is going on today? You can control You can control the energy you put out and how you want to be perceived. No, you can control the energy you put out, but how people perceive you is out of your control. So like, think about it, whether you're a YouTuber or not, you can control in your day-to-day -day interactions with people, like the content of the video is basically the content of who you are, what you're putting out. But then what happens after that, the thumbs up, the thumbs down, do I like you, do I not like you? That's just, that's not really relevant information most of the time. Because like, let's say you, you think of it this way. Let's say you meet 38 strangers and 37 of them like you and are, or at least are friendly to you. And then one of them doesn't like you and they're like, get out of here, man. I don't want to talk to you. Does that mean that you're a bad person? Does that mean you did something wrong? Or does it mean that that person who happened to interact with you had something go wrong in their life or in that moment? Or they had some expectation of an interaction that didn't happen? Uh, you know, who knows, man? Like, who... We no nobody is a mind reader. Like nobody can actually nobody can actually determine why someone doesn't like you. Nobody can determine why why someone is rude or why someone like you you can you can control what you're putting out, as I said. And if you have too many thumbs down, if you have too many people who are interacting negatively with you. Like, what, what's that expression? Like, uh, something about being an asshole. It's like, if, if everywhere you go, you're meeting assholes, the asshole's probably you. Like, <laughs> I might, I might've got that expression wrong, but that's basically it. It's like, if occasionally you meet an asshole, that's, that's life.
But if everywhere you go, you're like, everyone is an asshole, you should probably reflect because it's probably you. You're the asshole. That's why you're having all these negative. Yeah, you, you, you get it, you get it. Speaking of negative interactions, I might have been a bit too negative to these sticks in my last video. I said some mean things about these sticks. I don't know, is this like new age art? Uh, it's, li it's literally just a stick. It's not like some kind of plant. It's just, they're just, they're just sticks. But then I had two different comments, two comments in the comment section. Let me just, let me just get a bit of B-roll of the comment section. Okay. Sprinkle Pancake says, I love the sticks. And Adrian M says, I love the sticks. Seriously, they fill up the space nicely. Maybe I was the asshole to the sticks because I was so quick to judge them. I thought like all these guys, they got to get out of here. I thought they were the problem, but I didn't even get to know them. I didn't even, like, I didn't even make three videos with sticks in the background and then start saying, you know, these sticks, maybe they'll stay, maybe they'll go. I, I just did my first video in the new studio and I said, I'm gonna get rid of those sticks. And you gotta get to know someone before you just toss them to the curb, you know? You can't just be, I mean, they've been here longer than I have. I don't know how many years these have been in the apartment. I've been here like a week. And I'm already gonna toss them away because of some petty internalized bias that I have against sticks. Maybe we need a hashtag, save the sticks. I'm, I'm turning around on these sticks. I'm starting to see them for what they really are. I'm starting to see that beneath their tough, sticky exterior, perhaps there is beauty after all. Hey, you guys like my new poster? Not to take away from the sticks too much, but I think it's kind of cool. Save the sticks, burn the sticks, wait and see and get to know the sticks a little bit. Moving is hard. These are the kind of decisions you need to make. Nobody said it would be easy.